Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Hat. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at anagrams. So rearranging one or two words. So when we're approaching this task, really think about your spelling and reading for sense. What works within the context of the sentence? What word could be missing? Because that will give you a big clue. Again, let's use a process of elimination and work from the left to the right. So before we have a look at the kinds of questions in the test, let's cover two subtopics. The first one, what is an anagram? So an anagram is a word made by rearranging the letters of another word. Okay, so if you have a scrambled word and you unscramble it, then you put your anagram there. There are some words that are anagrams of other words and they make sense by themselves, so they're not just scrambled versions of another word. One of those such words is listen. An anagram for listen is silent, which is very interesting because they are both quite connected. So that is an anagram, a scramble word that creates another word. So when you rearrange the letters of something, you get a new word. Another thing that we should check because this is really gonna help us is context. Context is the setting of a word, the words that come before and after a word and that clarify its meaning. So the reason this will help us is because if we're a bit confused about what the anagram could be, what word it could be representing, we can imagine a blank space where that word is and think about what makes sense with the sentence and help ourselves that way. So for example here, the soldiers returned from the something tired. We think about all the different words that could be the war, the battlefield, training. And if our anagram looked like so, then we could figure out that the soldiers returned from the battlefield tired. So let's have a look at a kind of question. Rearrange the letters of the scrambled word to make the sentence make sense. Mary loved vegetables. Rorax were her favorite. Okay, seems a bit strange. What is a Rorax? That's our scrambled word. But first let's look at the context and the word to unscramble. The context is vegetables. Mary loves vegetables. And the word to unscramble is the one that looks very strange, Rorax. If we know that Mary loved vegetables and we kind of imagine Rorax not being there, we could think, what words could we fill that with? Let's list some vegetables. It's not lettuce or radishes or leeks or turnips or cabbage, but it could be carrots. Yes, so carrots actually works with this. Rorax is an anagram of carrots. So we know that the answer is Mary loved vegetables. Carrots were her favorite. Let's have a look at another example. Here you have to do it with two words, so it's a little bit harder. Rearrange the letters of the scrambled words to make the sentence make sense. Our sentence. Visitors to the zoo could watch the gun pines and the yemcons being fed. Again, very confusing. So we need to look at the context of the sentence. What do we know? We know that it's said in a zoo. And we know that the words to unscramble are gun, pines, and yemcons. So what animals would there be in the zoo? Lions, elephants, snakes, penguins. Ooh, there's a word that could work. Penguins. Let's have a look at gun pines. If we unscramble that, yes, we realise that gun pines is the anagram for penguins. Okay. So there was one answer. Now let's continue our search. Giraffes, monkeys. And then we can see that yemcons is an anagram for monkey. So we know that our two answers are penguins and monkeys. So our sentence is, visitors to the zoo could watch the penguins and the monkeys being fed. So in these questions, use the context of the sentence to help you or use the clues that you have been given. And that's it for today's lesson. Make sure you do the quiz right after this, and I'll see you in the next video.